Across the top row of my desktop, you'll see Schoology, Sheets, Slides, and Zoom. Those are some of the applications that you'll be using if you're working from a smartphone or websites you'll be using if you're working from a laptop or desktop. First, let's look at how to find the course in cyberspace. Start by looking for me. You're looking for course pages for Dana Leeling. The MS-150 statistics, the first, that larger lettered part, will take you right to the calendar and syllabus. Looking at Monday, the 17th of August, that S means that this Introduce Yourself is in Schoology and you should go to Schoology to do that. The calendar gives you an idea of the pace at which things are to be accomplished and can help you understand when things are due. On Wednesday, you should be taking a look at the samples, sample size, levels of measurement, the words are actually interactive. If I tap on 1.1 samples, it will take me to the textbook for that chapter and section, chapter 1, section 1. The textbook is actually one single long page, all chapters. So once you load it, as long as you don't close that tab, the book will be there. And you can take the book and go offline uh, once you've loaded it and read the book at your own leisure. So you can take a look at the book, read the descriptions in the book. There are also videos. So for 1.1 samples, the little icon on the right in the middle So there are videos that go with the text book, and they're available too. So you can read the text section, you can watch the video, and then you can tackle the homework that will be over in Schoology. We'll take a look at the Schoology app in just a moment. The colors, the orange, the gold, the green, the purple, those will correspond actually to the color of a folder in which those assignments are. Those are units. Each unit has its own color. So the calendar should give you an idea at the rate at which you work new material. You don't have to wait till Wednesday to start that material. So once those, once the homework is posted, you can work on it. And then Wednesday's homework is due on Friday. Friday's homework is due on Monday. And so on and so forth. Each homework due on the uh, previous on the next class day. The tests, like test one here at the end of the second week, the test will be open from 24 hours from Thursday evening to Friday evening. The exact time will vary with your time zone, but they're set up to run from 6 p.m. to 6 p.m. here on Pompeii, which will be the same on Koshrai, and they run from 5 p.m. to 5 p.m. in Chukin Yap. So they're open for 24 hours. Uh, and must be turned in within that 24-hour period. At 6 p.m. on Pompeii, Pompeii time, on Friday, test one will close, and there's no way to submit it after 6 p.m. on Friday. The reason they actually open on Thursday is for those who are able to connect better in the evening, you can use Thursday evening to do your connection and do your test. So the test Test 1 will actually open on Thursday at 6 p.m. Pompeii time and close 24 hours later at 6 p.m. on Friday Pompeii time. Test 2 will actually open on the Tuesday and then close on Wednesday at 6. Again, 24 hours. You'll have 24 hours to do a test, but only 24 hours. There isn't any late submission on those tests. Homework is due to, at the start of the next class day, but late homework can be submitted for up to a week after the due date. After a week, the homework locks, closes, shuts down, and cannot be submitted and will have a negative impact on your grade. So do keep up with the homework. Don't get behind. Homework will occur in Google Sheets, and so you'll need either a Google login or Gmail login. If you're working on an Android phone, you're all set. You're already logged into Google on that phone. 
You can always message me in Schoology. I'll show you where that is in a moment. Or by email. Uh, you know, uh, and just email me at Gmail. That's my primary email address. We can also set up a Zoom conference if you need to. There are links here in the syllabus to some of the apps that we're using. If you're using a laptop, that's fine. It will work just wonderful for you. But the videos are done using a smartphone because the app can do a little bit less than the desktop laptop. So you can do the same thing and more if you have a laptop or desktop. But you'll be just fine if all you have is a good smartphone. You'll want a pretty good smartphone with a reasonably sized screen. That you will want. Uh, the rest you can read through here uh, on grades and program learning outcomes and those sorts of things. Let's have a look at some of the apps that you'll be using. The Schoology app will be the way in which you access tests and the way you access homework will be through the Schoology app itself. Tap on the course and all the material for the course is there. The, in this case, the calendar, the welcome letter, the introduce yourself to the course. All of these materials are here. Some links to the videos that you can watch. Unit 1, orange folder, to match the orange color in the calendar. Let's take a look at that first homework on Wednesday. This is actually going to be due on Friday, August 21st. Um, it says that right down here. And then it will lock a week later, Friday, August uh, 28, at 6 p.m. Assignments, that's Pompeii time. When on my phone you're seeing Pompeii time, that will be 5 p.m. for those of you in the App and Chook. Basically, the end of the business day in the App and Chook uh, is the way they're set up. So, uh, technically assigned on Wednesday, due on Friday, but you can work on it at any time. It's already there, uh, available to you. You'll see next to the assignment a My Document. Down next to assignment will be My Document. Yours will look a little different. But you'll see something like what you see in my screen here. And when you tap on it, just open it in the app. You'll be able to work on the homework right in the app. Or if you're in uh, a laptop, you just click on my document and it'll show you your document. The first time you do this on a laptop or desktop, you'll have to connect your Google account to your uh, Schoology account. And there'll be a little uh, place where you click connect and you type in your login information for Google to connect the accounts together. Then the answers to homework can be put right in these spreadsheets. There's where you put the answers. The questions are here. What is the sample size for the car manufacturer's data? That's over here in the first column. This is the first set of data, the second set of data. There's actually three sets of data here. These are cars that drove past the college and we took some speeds and numbers of people in the car, that sort of information. And then you're to answer these 12 questions. When you're done, just click on check and you can go back to Schoology where you can submit your assignment. You can submit it here in Schoology. In Schoology 2, you have, if you go back here, you have access to messages and you can send messages to me directly from the messages area. Click on that and that will take you to the messages. Uh, and uh, you can get at your grades and some other information from from here. But messages and your course page are going to be two of the places you spend most of your time in Schoology. Another app you, may, you, you will need, of course, is Google Sheets. Uh, and so if you ever need to make your own spreadsheet, you just go to Google Sheets and say new spreadsheet. If you want to give your new spreadsheet a name, you can put the name right here. <coughs> and there goes, and that's the name. And you can type in it and do whatever you want. It gets saved in your Google Sheets area. Later in the term, you'll be doing presentations. You'll analyze data, and then you'll do a presentation and submit a presentation. Uh, so you'll want the Google Slides app if you're using a phone. If you're using a desktop or laptop, you'll be able to use the Sli Google Slides desktop or laptop website. No problem. That will automatically load from Schoology after you log in. 
again you can do a new presentation here but uh, you'll actually be provided a blank presentation from Schoology that way you'll be able to submit it to me you won't actually have to do one from here but if you ever do have to do one from here for some reason the share button is the second item that's really useful it lets you share your slides to somebody else and at the very end of the term in that last week you'll do a slides presentation after analyzing some data and then present it to your results to me via zoom this is so that you get used to something that is a part of the modern world now zoom meetings where you do presentations using slides to present your ideas to other people and so it'll give you a chance to do this now zoom runs on a desktop or laptop and zoom also runs here in an app on a phone so you can use I wanted to come back to the calendar just for a moment. Zoom is here in that last week. We'll have some chance to practice using Zoom near the end of the term before you have to actually use it to do a presentation. Don't be scared. You're going to be all right. You can do this. And it will give you a good chance to practice doing something that many people now have to do as a part of their daily work life because of social distancing and all those other factors. So do... Uh, you won't need it till later in the course, but you will need it then, and do, do load the apps that you need, and it will make your life much easier. To start, you'll just need this Google Sheets app, the Schoology app, uh, or a laptop, and you can just go to the websites for those. Again, if you have any questions, let me know. Come see me uh, and Cyberspace by writing me an email or sending me a message or setting up a zoom meeting if you want to and then you can actually see me but if you do have questions do contact me and uh, welcome to ms150 statistics